The world hasn't yet gotten over the recent release of ChatGPT4 Omni. The internet is going crazy exploring all the things it can do. But this video is for those who want to earn easy money using the newly upgraded ChatGPT. I won't bore you with tech details, but I'll show you how you can use it to earn up to $100 per day. Let's jump right in and see how you can start making cash with this awesome AI assistant. So today, I'm going to show you how I created this children's storybook with the free version of ChatGPT 4.0. And if you follow the steps I demonstrated in this video, you could be raking in $100 daily too. Stay until the end because I'll also show you how to include beautiful and consistent illustrations in your storybooks for free, without needing a paid subscription. So, let's get started. Step 1. Generate ideas for your story. You know how sometimes kids come up to you and beg, tell me a story, but then your mind just goes totally blank? Well, with ChatGPT 4.0, you never have to worry about that again. This AI assistant is like having an endless storybook in your pocket ready to go whenever you need it. So, in a few moments, I'll give you a prompt that you can use to come up with instant cool story ideas using ChatGPT 4.0. This thing has become crazy powerful lately. In my opinion, when it comes to writing and creativity, it's not that much different than even the paid premium version of ChatGPT. So, let's say we have totally no idea about what to write. In that case, I'll simply type this in ChatGPT. Please give me some children's storybook ideas to write about. The story should be geared towards girls aged 7 to 9 and have an important lesson about kindness, hard work, or other positive values. Okay, so when we hit enter, and within seconds, we went from having a blank page to having 10 wildly imaginative choices to pick from. Step 2. Ask ChatGPT to write your story for you. Let's say the one that caught your eye the most was number 9, The Brave Little Baker. It even has this little synopsis that says it's a story about 7-year-old Clara who wants to enter the town's baking competition but is afraid of failing. With encouragement from her grandmother and her own determination, she learns that trying her best is what truly matters. All you have to do is copy and paste that story synopsis you liked into the chat. Then prompt ChatGPT by saying, please write this story for me. Hit enter. In just moments, ChatGPT wrote an entire story that is fun, inspiring, and it also totally makes sense. ChatGPT put in lots of creative details that fit the story perfectly, like Clara's special relationship with Grandma Rose over baking, describing the yummy strawberry lemon cake she made, and painting a colorful picture of the baking contest fair. In barely a minute, ChatGPT formed a whole multi-paragraph story that was easy to read with no mistakes. Now this is already a great story, but just to be on the safe side, I recommend you to follow the next step, which is... Step 3. Check for Plagiarism Well, so, each story generated by ChatGPT is technically unique. However, there is a slight possibility that some wording may overlap with existing materials. So, if you plan to use ChatGPT story output verbatim, it's a good practice to run a plagiarism check just to be on the safe side. The process is straightforward. You simply copy the entire story text generated by ChatGPT, find a free online plagiarism checker tool, paste the text into the input field, and run the scan. There are several reliable plagiarism checkers available through a quick Google search. So, in this video, I'm using DupliChecker, which works great for me. I paste in the draft story ChatGPT wrote for us about the young baker Clara. After verifying we're not a robot, we run the plagiarism analysis. The results show the story is 97% unique content, which is excellent. However, it does flag one line as potentially plagiarized. Not to worry though, to ensure 100% originality, you just need to tweak that sentence yourself into something more unique. With that tiny edit, you can be fully confident there is no unintentional plagiarism in your story. That takes us to... Step 4. Generate illustrations through Copilot. When it comes to writing children's books, having illustrations is so important to bring the story to life, right? 
With the paid version of ChatGPT+, Plus, you actually have the ability to generate AI images directly using DALL-E in ChatGPT 4.0. So, if you have the Plus subscription, you can describe the scene or character you want and it will create custom illustrations for your book. But don't worry, if you're using the free version of ChatGPT, I've still got you covered. While you can't generate images directly, I'm going to show you a free tool you can use to create illustrations for your children's book. There are a ton of image generation AIs out there these days, but one of the best out there is Copilot. Now get this, Copilot doesn't automatically generate consistent characters across different images. However, you can get Copilot to create a consistent looking character by providing the right prompts. So make sure to follow carefully because I'll show you how to create consistent character illustrations for your story using Copilot. The key is to start with an extremely detailed description of the character's appearance when generating the first image. This initial prompt should cover everything, from their hairstyle, facial features, clothing, body type, etc. Be as specific as possible. For example, create an illustration of a little girl with curly golden hair, large blue eyes, a well-structured nose and mouth, wearing a pink hoodie, black yoga pants, and white sneakers. Show her full body with a plain background in a comic book style as she's baking a cake. Once you have an illustration you like from the initial detailed prompt, you can generate new images of that same consistent character by copy-pasting that original detailed appearance description into new prompts. Just change the ending to describe the new action, pose, or scene you need. Copilot will generate new images but featuring that exact same character you described initially, just with the new specified expression or action. So you can see how similar and consistent they are. Next, I can now ask Copilot to change her as I like. Here, I'm typing to change her expression to a surprised face and wearing a first prize ribbon. And there, it gives me four beautiful images of her with a surprised look on her face and a ribbon on her. Finally, I ask Copilot to have her hugging her grandmother. And look at these sweet images of Clara and her grandmother together. Simply download all the images you liked and they're ready to be used in your book. Step 5. Format your book in Canva. Okay, now that you've got consistent character illustrations, the next step is to compile everything into an actual book layout using Canva. First, go to canva.com and search for one of their storybook templates. From there, it's as simple as copying and pasting your written story into each page. Then just drag and drop all those Copilot character illustrations you created as well. You see that I'm also adding images directly from Canva's library of images. Once you're completely happy with the layout, just hit the download button and save it as a PDF file. So you can see how amazing it looks. You now have a complete digital version of your very own storybook. By selling books like these online, you can easily make up to $100 per day. All you have to do is be consistent and follow the steps I laid out in this video. Now, marketing and selling your book is another story, and don't worry, we've got you covered there too. Don't forget to watch our video on how to sell your books online. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with a question. What would you do with an extra $100 per day? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.